What is up guys, Hassan Malik back here. Okay, so before we get into the video, let's talk about the helmet and what exactly is going on here. So I have always been more of the voice behind the images in most of my videos, and I've always wanted to have more of a personal interaction with you guys so that I can show you guys my Lego sets and whatnot. But the thing is, I've never been the greatest public speaker, as strange as that may sound, considering I talk to thousands of you guys on quite a regular basis. So this is kind of like me taking the baby steps to eventually be comfortable enough to do these videos with my face and everything. So I thought I'd take a page out of Just Too Good and Hello Greedo's playbooks. You guys probably know who they are, considering they're pretty large in the LEGO and Star Wars communities here on YouTube. And Boba Fett is like my favorite Star Wars character. I've always had a really strong connection with him since I was a kid. So I thought it'd be really fitting to wear his helmet here. Plus, I just wanted to show you guys this really awesome Black Series Boba helmet. It's pretty cool. Uh, but don't worry, I'm not changing the regular video format or anything like that. This will just be while I'm doing Q&A type of videos. But enough about me and this helmet. Let's talk about the giveaway and how everything went with that. First of all, guys, I just want to say thank you to all of you, everybody who entered. I think we had over 4,000 comments, which is absolutely insane. So the giveaway actually did end on the 18th, so anybody who entered after that, I apologize, it's now over. But don't worry, I will be doing another giveaway just like this one very soon. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that one. So without further ado, the winner of $130 worth of any sets on the LEGO store is Little Drummer Boy, who commented, Hi, I would really like some 501st sets because they are awesomely cool. Thanks for the opportunity, with a smiley face. So congratulations, Little Drummer Boy, and thank you to everybody else who entered. Now, I did kind of make one major mistake while I was doing this giveaway, and I really apologize for it. It's the first time I've done a giveaway like this, so everything was a little bit broken, and I was still working out the kinks and all that stuff. But I forgot to let you guys know how I was actually going to reach out to you guys. And it turns out that's some pretty key information I should have included. So, little drummer boy, I'm going to have to ask you to do me a little bit of a favor here. If you could just head over to my about page on my channel, you're going to be able to find my email there. Please just shoot me an email, that way I can get in touch. And then we can discuss everything like your address, what country you're in, all that stuff. And I can get these sets to you. But that is pretty much going to do for the giveaway video. Again, congratulations to Little Drummer Boy, and thank you to everybody else who entered. The next giveaway will be up soon, so make sure to stay subscribed and stay tuned for when that gets announced. Alright, so now for the second half of this video, we did actually hit 30,000 subscribers, and that's like the main thing I want to talk about in this video. Unfortunately, I can't afford to do another giveaway, but I did put out a post a little while back asking you guys to go ahead and ask your questions that I could go ahead and answer in a Q&A style video. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I have picked 15 questions from that post, and I'm going to go ahead and answer them now. So our first question here is from Kai Love. He asks, congratulations, I like your content a lot. Here's my question, what's a TV series you enjoy watching, you recommend to watch, and what are some sets that you recommend getting this year that are still on store shelves? Thanks and looking forward to more content from you. So for a TV series that I'd go ahead and recommend watching, other than like the Mandalorian and Clone Wars and all that stuff of course, which is Star Wars, which I'm sure you guys have all seen, but one of my favorite TV shows of all time is Breaking Bad. That is a really, really good show. I know it's a little bit old now, but it's one of the few shows, in my opinion, that never overstayed their welcome. Most of the big TV show greats like Game of Thrones and a bunch of other ones that I've followed for a long time end up kind of dying toward the end and just their quality drops a lot. But Breaking Bad was always super consistent to me, and it was always a corruption story about a really good man who turns bad, and I like those type of stories. Granted, why I like Star Wars and the prequels so much, right? So I think that's a really good show, so if you haven't seen Breaking Bad and you're old enough to watch it, go ahead and check that one out. As for any sets that I'd recommend getting from this year that are still on store shelves, well these aren't on store shelves yet, but the Fire First Battle Pack and AAT, i definitely recommend getting those two sets, because they're going to be worth a lot of money and they're just really awesome sets in general. But as for a few sets that are currently on store shelves, I'd recommend getting the Duel on Mustafar set. That is a really awesome little set. It's only 20 bucks, and it has some really great updated versions of Anakin and Obi-Wan. So it's pretty cool. I'd recommend getting that. And then also, if you can afford it, the Slave 1 20th Anniversary Edition. I believe it's still out on LEGO stores, so if you can go ahead and pick that one up, I would recommend doing it soon before it goes ahead and sells out. 
as you can tell, I really love Boba Fett. I have the helmet, I got the Slave One back there. I never bought that set because I do have the UCS version, so I never actually went and picked it up. But if you don't have this one and you can afford to get it, I would definitely recommend picking that one up. So our second question here is from Sion Gibby. He asks, do you think the prequel series should be removed from the canon? There are rumors it might be. Now, I think you actually mean the sequel series here, not the prequels. I would never want to see the prequels go. I think the Clone Wars era is like probably the best in Star Wars. It's personally my favorite. So I would never want to see the prequels get erased. As for the sequel series, I wouldn't actually want to see it go. As much as I did have my problems with that trilogy, I do think it's the worst of all these Star Wars trilogies. I think it introduced a lot of cool characters like Kylo Ren and even Rey. She was really awesome toward the end there. The only thing I think the entire thing lacks is consistency in any way. The storytelling was all over the place. I mean, you did have J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson, J.J. Abrams. It was they were just flip flopping, right? So I think if they actually had one coherent story they were telling, it would have been much better. But I think all of it can be fixed. All the main issues I have with the film, well, the biggest issue I have with the film is the whole chosen one aspect. I think. I really think Anakin should have showed up at the end there and kind of saved the day uh, and actually have like defeated Palpatine. If that happened, I think that would have been almost like a saving grace for the entire, entire film for uh, episode 9. But unfortunately, we didn't see that. I did think the ending was a little bit generic. You know, Ray just kind of pulled out two lightsabers and then I didn't, I didn't think that was that great, to be honest. But... I do think this whole series can be fixed and kind of solved. Um, I think if we gave Dave Filoni a shot at making an animated series, maybe between episode eight and nine or, or something like that to kind of kind of flesh things out and explain things a little bit, I think that would be pretty cool. And I'd actually like to see that happen. So uh, to answer the question, no, I wouldn't want to see these sequel series removed from the canon. I think that'd be very, very jarring, especially since they put all this money and all this effort into making these films. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see them leave, but I do think they should fix them. So on to our third question from Awesome Cool Guy. He asks, if there was one MCU set that you would like to see that LEGO hasn't made yet, what would it be? I personally would love a Tower Bridge set from Final Battle of Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, I actually wasn't too big of a fan of Spider-Man Far From Home. I did like Homecoming a lot, but I thought Far From Home was a little bit too similar to Homecoming in a lot of ways, and I just kind of found it a little bit meh, like a straight like 7.5 out of 10. It just wasn't anything spectacular in my opinion. I'm not saying that wouldn't make for a great set though, that finale was really big and I think if LEGO was to make a set on it, it would be pretty cool. But as for a set I'd want to see based on the MCU, I think I'd have to go with the final battle in Endgame, only actually done properly. The sets that LEGO put out for Endgame, I didn't like very much at all, especially the figures who had all these time travel suits and everything, I didn't really like them that much. But I think if they made a really proper set with accurate figures and including all the characters, which is quite impossible since there was like 60 of them or something like that. But if they could do that, that'd be a really awesome set and I'd like to see that. Okay, on to our fourth question here. So it is from Jonathan Fragel. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name. He says, congrats on 30k, dude. I just started watching your channel a few weeks ago and I really enjoy the content you put out. As far as a question for the Q&A, I have a couple that I'd like to ask. First, what LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack would you want LEGO to make that hasn't been produced yet? Personally, I'd go with an ARC Trooper slash Clone Commando Battle Pack. Second, which Star Wars set do you think really needs a remake? I think we could use a new MTT and Separatist colors, oh sorry, MTT with Separatist colors, or a new Wookiee Catamaran. So thank you for the question, Jonathan. As for the first part, a battle pack that I would like to see is kind of generic. I'd like to see a completely white clone trooper battle pack just with plain white clones. And I'd also like to see the same thing for stormtroopers. I know we did get one that was almost close to it with the dropship, but I'd want to see one with just completely regular white stormtroopers. I think that'd be pretty cool. And also the ones you mentioned in your question here, the Arc Trooper and Clone Commando Battle Pack, I would love to see those in LEGO form. But the Battle Pack that I want to see the most is definitely going to have to be a droid Battle Pack, like a completely only droids. So I'd like to see include maybe like four Battle Droids, two Super Battle Droids, and then have the build be a Droidicus instead of like a Speeder or something like that. And uh, since battle droids are so cheap to make and they don't require any printing, I think they could include that large a number of that of, of them. So I'd like to see six figures in a battle pack with Droidicus. I think that'd be perfect. That would be my dream battle pack for sure. 
On to your second question here, a set I'd like to see remade is the ARC-170 Starfighter. That was one of my favorite sets I had as a kid. I got the original one that came out with the Revenge of the Sith movie in 2005, and I really loved that Starfighter. We did get a second version of it, but since then we've never seen it in LEGO form, so I'd want LEGO to go ahead and remake that one. It's one of my favorite Starfighters, so I'd love to see that in LEGO form. On to our fifth question here by the Ultimate Clickbait 3. He asks, what is the best set you have ever bought? And that has to be that UCS Slave 1 right back there. I'm not even sure if I'm actually pointing at that one right over there. It's my favorite set I've ever bought. I'm a huge Boba Fett fan, and I really love his ship as well. And this version of it is obviously the best version LEGO has made. The one that we just got with the 20th Anniversary Edition, that's also a great set, but it's nothing compared to the UCS version. So this is my favorite set I have ever bought, and it's probably my favorite set ever made, to be honest. But uh, yeah, that'd be my favorite set. So for our sixth question, it's from Kamal Miklos. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. And he asks, what are your top five sets you would wish LEGO would either make for the first time or remake? Could be any theme but bonus points if they're all Star Wars. So I actually made an entire video on this, on the sets, the top 10 sets I'd like to see that LEGO has never made yet. And my number set, my number one set on that list was the Jedi Temple. We've never gotten that set and I don't think we ever will to be honest. And that's mainly because the big scene for that location is Order 66. Uh, and a lot of violent, violent things happen there, like the younglings and all that stuff, and Anakin wiping out the Jedis, and I just don't see LEGO making a set based on it. But nonetheless, if I could see an actual set that we're never going to get made by LEGO, it'd be that one for sure. And then for the other four, I forget what I named, but there's an entire video on it, so go ahead and check that one out. On to our seventh question here from Johan Jerf. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that again, I'm really bad with names. He asks, since everyone is already asking about LEGO Star Wars, what is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food has to be mangoes. If I could eat anything at any point, it would just be, it would just be mangoes. I'm, I really love fruits. That's my favorite fruit. So if I could eat anything, it would have to be mangoes. That's my favorite food. On to our eighth question here. Django Fett asks, if you can remember, what was your very first LEGO set? If you can't remember, then what's your favorite LEGO theme? So obviously, I think my favorite LEGO theme is Star Wars. I think you guys can all pretty much tell that just based on what I cover on the channel here. As for my first LEGO set, I'm kind of blanking on the name right now. I'm pretty sure it's called Jabba's Palace. It's the set that it's very small. It's like $10. It came with Han Solo and Carbonite, Boba Fett, and a Gamorrean Guard. I really loved that set, and that was my first one I ever got. And it's actually the reason I ended up loving Boba Fett so much and getting into Star Wars and LEGO in general. So that set really changed my life, and it was actually my first one. So yeah, it was a really awesome little set. On to our ninth question here from Supercar Spotter, and he asks, why do you buy subs? And uh, my answer is I don't. I don't know what makes you think that. Maybe it's the surge that I've had in the past uh, couple months, but that has mainly been because of the giveaway. If you actually look at my statistics and analytics, my watch minutes and views and everything line up with my uh, new subscribers almost perfectly. You can just drop them on top of each other and they'd uh, mask each other out. So. Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all made sense. I know it's a lot of subscribers at once, but trust me, I am not buying them. I, w I wouldn't do that. I've been on YouTube for quite a long time, and I've never done that. So I don't think I'd start now. And uh, it's kind of a scummy thing to do, or a very scummy thing to do, obviously. So nope, not doing that. On to our 10th question here from Cody Juhaz. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that again. He asks, would you rather be given the rank of master or the high ground? That is a really awesome question. Uh, my answer is, I wouldn't actually want either of these things. I would just get rid of all the sand in the entire world, like all of it. It is just so coarse and rough and it gets everywhere and I, I just get rid of all the sand. On to our 11th question here from Tens Diamond 321 who asks, which is your favorite Star Wars faction and your favorite vehicle slash ship slash transport from that faction? So my favorite faction would have to be the like Galactic Republic, like the Clone Troopers. That's my favorite faction in Star Wars. And then my favorite ship from that faction would actually have to be the ARC-170 uh, Starfighter that I mentioned earlier. That's my favorite um, Starfighter they have. Uh, it's mainly due to nostalgia from that set that I had as a kid, but I just like the look of it. It's almost like an X-Wing with the opening uh, S-Foils and everything like that, but uh, that's my favorite ship from the, uh, from the Clone Troopers. Our 12th question here is by Brick Pigeon, and he asks, are you into custom clones and decals? Yeah, I definitely am. I've never actually had the opportunity to do uh, decals. 
I've been interested in it. I've watched a few videos on it. I just don't think I'm skilled enough to actually apply my own type of de decals and whatnot. Um, I have never actually gotten to buy any Clone Army customs or anything like that. But although I do see them, they make some awesome figures. And if I had a little bit more money to spend on Lego Star Wars sets, I'd definitely go ahead and buy some of those. But uh, yeah, I haven't had the opportunity yet, but I probably will be getting into those in the next couple of years. For question 13, which is actually from Captain Vaughn, rest in peace, man. Um, he asks, do you think you will be getting sets for the new Bad Batch TV show if we get anything? Um, I, I know for sure we're definitely going to be getting sets on this show. I'm assuming this show is going to run for a couple seasons at least, probably three, right? And LEGO is definitely going to be making sets on them. I'm, I'm thinking the shuttle that the Bad Batch actually uses. Hopefully it has all the characters in one set. I'd really like to see that instead of dispersing them out through multiple sets, making us spend more money. But yeah, I'm probably going to end up getting them. They weren't that great to me in the show, but I think the Bad Batch is actually going to be a really awesome TV show. I mean, they've never really missed, right? Rebels was amazing. Uh, Clone Wars was amazing. And I just, I really trust uh, Disney's animation team here. I think they'll come up with something really cool. Uh, also, I'd like to see a, a evil version of Commander Cody. If that happens, that would be really cool. If we could see a Rex versus Cody scenario, and if Lego could make sets on that, that would be amazing. So if we do get sets on it, I will definitely for sure be buying them. On to our 14th question here from Ashwat Ganesh. And he asks, how many subscribers are you aiming for? And now I don't really have an actual number I'm aiming for. I'm really happy with the amount we have right now. Obviously, I want to see this community and this channel grow. So I guess infinite, that's what I'm aiming for. Um, but again, I'm really happy with the number I'm, I have here. I think we have a really small but great and tightly knit community with the 32,000 I think we're at right now or, or close to 32,000. But uh, yeah, I don't know uh, what I'm aiming for. I guess it's, I guess it's infinite, but uh, 100,000 would be cool. I can't wait to get to 100,000. I feel like if I ever did get there at some point, that would make things feel uh, feel real. I think that's when it would actually kind of hit you. Like this is, you're actually like a YouTuber now. So that would, that would be awesome. Because right now, I still just see myself as like a person that likes Lego Star Wars stuff that makes videos on it and just has like a few people watching. Although I'm, I'm not saying 30,000 is small or anything. I'm very grateful for every single one of you that subscribes. But uh, yeah, infinity, that's my goal. And our last question here is from Vector King 5 He asks, if you could have one Lego Star Wars set remade today, what would it be and why? And again, this is, I've been kind of repeating this throughout the video, but the ARC-170 Starfighter. I've, I, now that I've been talking about it a lot, if there's one set I could see remade, it'd be that for sure. Um, it's a great Starfighter. Again, nostalgic for me. I, it was one of the first large LEGO Star Wars sets I got back in 2005 with the original movie. And I love clone troopers and everything. And it's, I think, their best best Starfighter they have. So I'd like to see that remade now with, with complete figures and everything like that. It, it'd be really cool to see. But uh, yeah, that's my answer for that question. And I think that's actually going to do it for all the questions. So thank you guys to everybody who asked. If I didn't answer your question, leave it again down in the comments. And uh, maybe I'll answer it in the next one. Um, if you guys want to see more Q&A type of style videos like this one, I will be doing more of them. I'm thinking of probably about like once a month, maybe I just answer a bunch of your guys' questions. So any questions you have, leave them down in the comments below on this video. Uh, you could put question in the sentence. That way, when I search for them, it'd just be easier for me to find and everything like that. So I'd, re I'd really appreciate if you guys could do that. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for the Q&A for this 30,000 subscriber uh, special. I know this video seems very weird and different. I mean, I am wearing a helmet and this is a little bit strange and everything like that. Um, but this is not the new format for videos. Videos will be the exact same as they've always uh, been. And if the quality of this video does sound a little worse, it's because it's kind of unscripted. Usually I kind of have a general script for my videos. This one, I'm kind of just speaking, right? I'm just kind of talking to you guys. I'm reading the things and I'm... And I'm just giving answers and whatnot. So uh, it's unscripted. I, I thought I'd just give it a shot. It's been really rough. I've remade this video probably six times now. I've, I've reshot so many uh, uh, parts of it. So um, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully I get better at doing this. This is just the first one. There's definitely going to be more to come and hopefully it gets better. So if you guys want to see more videos just like this one, make sure to subscribe and also let me know down in the comments below. Uh, and again, congrats to uh, Little Drummer Boy. Make sure to reach out to me by email so that I can contact you and get you those sets. Um, but that is pretty much going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.